you have a power steering concern, uh, probably you're, obviously you're, you're going to have a difficult steering. It could be in one direction or the other. It could be a situation which occurs on a lot of these uh, these cars uh, where, where the steering is uh, very difficult in the morning and then as the car warms up it returns to normal. Uh, that's another condition that takes place. One of the first things that you want to do when you have a power steering concern is check your power steering fluid. You want to do this in most cases with the engine off and you want to take a towel, clean around the top so that you don't get any dirt and debris inside and then you want to remove the cover and on the cover here you have a little dipstick right here and uh, it should tell you the hot fill and the cold fill. You want to again check it hot, make sure you don't overfill it. So if it's cold it should be right at the bottom, if it's hot it should be part way up. Another thing you want to do is look at the fluid and the condition of the fluid. The power steering fluid gets uh, very hot and the fluid can oxidize and become defective. So one thing you might want to do Let's actually smell it and, and see if it uh, smells like it's been uh, cooking or burnt and then take a towel and uh, check the actual color of it. I usually take a white, white paper towel and uh, check it and then look for grit in it. But you want to make sure that you have the proper fluid level. The other thing that you want to check is the drive belt. You want to, of course, watch, make sure no one is in the vehicle when you do this. A uh, good idea to put the keys up on top of the dash or in your pocket so no one will actually get in there. Because if you get your fingers in there, uh, you're, you're going to you know, probably not be the same after that, but this is a serpentine drive belt right here. You want to check this belt, it's obviously glazed on the top, and you want to look at the underneath of the belt and make sure it's not cracked or slipping, or in other ways have the belt clip. With these serpentine belts, we get very little belt slippage. With the older style V belts, they used to slip and squawk quite a bit, and that would cause an issue. Obviously, if you're low on fluid, the fluid's going someplace, you have a leak, you need to address that leak. It could be coming out of the power steering pump right here, or you have a leak here. It could be a defective hose, a pressure hose, which is down here, which is usually the case. Or it could, uh, sometimes it's a return hose, but uh, not too often. And sometimes it can be a pressure relief valve that could be stuck or malfunctioning, and those have to be addressed. A lot of cars today use rack and pinion power steering. The rack and pinion units themselves go out. They can also develop leaks. Uh, we recommend that you just uh, put in a remanufactured unit into the vehicle. You get the whole unit from tie rod end to tie rod end, so everything's replaced. You get all new boots. Everything's reconditioned. The only thing you have to make sure is that you flush out the rest of the power steering system so that you're not putting dirty, contaminated fluid back into that new rack because the remanufacturer will not warranty it if you happen to send it back because if it goes to in a short period of time due to contaminated fluid. So again, there is a fluid exchanger that can be hooked up right into the system right here, pull all the old fluid out, put new fluid back in, and uh, you're good to go for about uh, 30,000 miles. So that should be done depending upon the usage of the vehicle. Power steering fluid should be changed.